So today we're gonna go out and shoot some film. Haven't done that in a while and I uh, wanted to make this an all day film spectacular. As you guys can see, I actually have a few rolls here, medium format. Um, I picked this one up, this uh, Wolfman 120, black and white. Um, got two rolls of this, one's already in the GA645, so we're gonna have some fun with that. And then I picked up three rolls from a place in Pittsburgh that have that were expired they had a little trough of expired film so we're going to give it a go honestly guys i don't know how this is going to go this one is 22 years old uh this ectochrome so at 100 speed at, at a stop per decade that's like iso that's iso 25 if i'm thinking about that right that means i would have to put my camera on a tripod i don't know if i'm gonna do that this Orwell here, um, it's a black and white film, uh, and I really can't find the expiration date anywhere. If uh, this is the, let's see here, if this is the expiration date right there, if that's the expiration date, um, that mean I don't know what that means. So I can't find anything. I'm gonna try to do a little research before I put that in the camera. And then last, I got some uh, a Velvia 50, and this bad boy expired in 2014. Um, that's not necessarily a decade, so I'm going to shoot this one at, at actual box speed um, And have some fun with this. So hopefully you guys enjoy the results from these four rolls Now I just got to find a place to go and shoot So I'm out here at Ann Arbor's Botanical Garden here near Michigan campus So we're gonna go ahead and shoot some expired film uh, as you can see I got it set up on a tripod so that I can be able to get appropriate um, steadiness with the, the speed that I'll have to shoot some of these films at. Um, I have the wolf man in here first. So we're gonna get some shots in and around the garden outside area for, and see how we do with these uh, different types of film. So again, starting off with the non-expired film here, set up on a tripod with the GA645. And then we're gonna go from there to, I'm thinking the Ektachrome. And then we're gonna go from there to the Orwell and then finish off with the Velvia 50, okay? So guys, after shooting with these four films, my thoughts on the Wolfman first, um, since that was a non-expired film, I really like what I got from that film. I like the images I got. I like the colors and tones that it got. Uh, I think the GA645 did a great job with that film. 
and I'm glad I got two rolls of it. I'll be looking forward to using that again for some street photography for sure. And when I get an opportunity to be up in, I believe it's Waterford, Michigan, I think that's where I got that from, I'll look to get some more, if not try to get some online. The next one, as you guys saw, I went ahead and did the Orwo. That was the oldest of the films. It expired in 1988. And... I decided to shoot that at box speed 25 only because that is the lowest I can go on my GA645. So after shooting that, I actually really like what I got from that. Um, it definitely is something I could see using in the future if I get my hands on some more of it. Definitely shooting black and white and maybe shooting in that medium format size negative really gave me a lot more detail than I thought I was going to get, especially for a film as old as that. And I will tell you guys, old is definitely what it was. I developed the Wolfman and the Orwell myself. Uh, I used D76 uh, stock to develop it. So developing time was about anywhere between six and seven and a half minutes is what I managed to find online. So I developed it for seven minutes and I definitely think I got a good result on both. Um, so again, I am happy with that. Um, and happy with the experience I had with both of those in the black and white. So when it came to the Velvia 50 and the uh, Ektachrome 100, the Ektachrome was expired in 1999 and the Velvia uh, was expired in 2014. So Velvia I shot at box speed at 50. And then of course, because of that two, what, two decades, so two stops, I shot the Ektachrome at ISO 25. Um, I was a little impatient in developing those those. I took them to my local uh, developing uh, store, Express Photo in Livonia. And um, after talking with them, these being slide films, they didn't have cross-processing uh, functionality at their location. And I was a little impatient and went ahead and still had them uh, process it in C41. Uh, so that's where you see the um, green overcast in the film so i really didn't do it justice in that part but i was really impressed with the detail i still got especially from the uh, velvia 50 with the bonsai and definitely with the ectochrome i think it did a great job i think if i would have been able to be a little more patient and find a lab that can do cross processing the results would have been stellar for both so if again i get my hands on some expired film of, of velvia 50 or ectochrome I'll look to basically do the right processing for it and get hopefully as good as a result I got with these, even though I didn't follow the right processing procedure and had it developed in C41. So all in all, very happy with this experience with the Expire film, very happy with the Wolfman. I will honestly say I think shooting Expire film in 120 format for me is probably the way to go. I can't say that I enjoyed it as much with the 35 um, and that might just be my patience. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I did like what I got here. So hopefully you guys did. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos as well. And look out for some more film stuff as well in the future. Definitely some more expired film. Like and subscribe and see you guys on the next one.